Kagushin, where does the problem lie? Because what Dr. Bosiri is raising is very important, that the, the miscoordination between the plan, budget, and what has actually been implemented. Isn't that the role of the county assembly to oversight and also tell the people that this is where we are at? Should it, shouldn't there be some sort of a handover notes, even from one county assembly to the other, say this is what we've done, this is how far they are, this is where you take over from? Or is it just a disjointed sort of venture? where every man for himself and God for us all. <laughs> well, I, I think um, the uh, first, maybe just to explain, uh, whenever every county government uh, takes over, there is what uh, uh, the developers integrated plans. Yes, the CIDP. Yeah, the CIDP in every county. And, and the CIDP ordinarily will go through a process of uh, public participation. Uh, and, and the CIDP for the benefit, uh, benefit of our viewers is a plan that goes for five years. It kind of outlines uh, in uh, brief how the county government will run for five years and what the public generally would want done for, <coughs> for them. Yeah, so I explained the process of uh, coming up with the CIDP. It has a public participation aspect and then it uh, outlines the projects that are going to be undertaken within five years. And, and so any time when you want to undertake a project, one must always ask is it within the CIDP yeah. framework or arrangement? Then at the point of, uh, uh, I mean, every year then, the counties also come with another uh, document they call the ADP, the Annual Development Plan. Now, the Annual Development Plan is pulled from the CIDP. And then again, another public participation process has to take place, uh, whereby the public also need to uh, give their nod as to what has been put in the ADP. Now the ADP is what is relied upon when the budget is being made. So when now the process of making the budget is uh, coming to the county assembly, <coughs> and, and by the way, the CIDP and the ADP have also to be passed by the county assemblies. And then the budget, uh, uh, when it is being integrated by the county assembly, one of the things they will be looking at, do you have any projects that are in the budget that are, that are not in the ADP, the annual development plans, the ADPs? And, and, and uh, so, so that all those processes are very important and they all involve the public and also the budget making process also involves the public. But, but again, um, the level and the method used to involve the public would differ from one place to another. And that is probably where Dr. Tari would be pointing out uh, maybe Makweni as opposed to any other county. Uh, because how then do you involve uh, the public on uh, these public participation forums? Uh, because, if, for example, if you do the public participation at the county level, then do you also facilitate members of the society to come to the uh, public participation forum? And if you facilitate them, is it misconstrued again to mean a, an inducement or an incentive to agree with the what county governments want? So I think the best... Uh, method of doing this still is to go back to the village. If you do public participation at the village level or at the ward level, the, then at that point in time, I think uh, the, the public participation may yield more fruits and may make more people to be involved. Because at that point, then they are talking about uh, projects that touch them uh, at their level. So, so probably that's where the issue of disjoint, uh, disjointness would be coming from. Otherwise, the law provides for very uh, clear uh, ways of involving the public at every stage. And uh, uh, there's even another uh, paper we call the, the, the fiscal strategy paper, which has to be passed by uh, February. And that uh, strategy paper again also outlines the ceilings in which in a, in a financial year, the county government will not go beyond. Yeah? So, so the regulations, the laws, the PFM Act, are all very clear on what need to be done. And uh, they, they are usually properly outlined, but uh, the method and ha the how yeah. is really what would differ. And uh, uh, that, that is why I still believe that uh, we should go further and make a law that uh, then uh, forces the money which is coming from uh, the treasury to go directly to the ward. Mm -hmm. Even though it is held at the treas county treasury, it is held in uh, trust for the ward. Yeah. Yeah, so that our devolution is taken a step further. Yeah. I, I know some of the counties have uh, come up with the, 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 the ward fund laws, like Nyeri, we had one. Uh, but, but again, you also find it is not very strict. Because I remember like in the first year, MCAs were accorded uh, uh, 30 million per ward. And uh, it is not money given to the MCA 
to go and use it for development. No, you just propose projects worth 30 million. I remember by the time we were finishing uh, the, the, th the last year, the MCs were given 16 million, which again you find is not sufficient then to do those projects. And, and you see all the other money that remains then go to other you know, county, county projects, wh which sometimes are, are picked by the county executives who may not be in touch with the, with the people on the ground. So I think we need to have much more money being allocated directly to the ward. And, and that will, will, will even enhance the public participation more because then people can see projects that are touching them. Yeah. Because you're asking them about between this road and between this irrigation project, what do you want us to do first? Yes. And then people have to decide between the two of them. And, and you see, for that reason then, you, you would find the, the enthusiasm, mm. the interest being much more than it is now whereby you have to go and sit and talk about uh, some fish farming arrangement for the county, which you don't even know whether it will touch you and touch your village. Yeah, so uh, th th that is very key and very, very important.